Hi, and welcome to episode four of Culture Watch Radio. I'm Andrew Smith, and with me is Bill Muhlenberg. Bill, we've had some big news this week with the video expose of Planned Parenthood. Yes, absolutely right. It's very big indeed. Even the mainstream media, who's been very reluctant to say anything about this, has finally been forced to uh, give it a bit of airtime. So you know it's big news indeed when that happens. Uh, there's been a group uh, called the Center for Medical Progress who've actually been investigating uh, what the world's biggest abortion provider is up to and including with hidden cameras and the rest have come out this week with their uh, the results of their investigation and shocking stuff indeed although those of us somewhat aware of Planned Parenthood have known they've been engaged in pretty dodgy dealings for quite some time but the revelation of selling aborted baby body parts for profit to well in theory for medical research but simply selling baby parts, which is against U.S. federal law and using probably the uh, partial birth abortion method, which is also illegal as of 2003 in America, uh, shows we have some not only very unethical activity going on, but some potentially illegal activity as well. And as you'll hear in the audio from the video that we've got, it's pretty explicit that they know exactly what they're doing. The 30 to $100 price, or that's per yes. specimen that we're talking per about, specimen. right? Yeah. Yes. How much of a difference can that actually make if you, if you know what kind of oh, what's it, expected or what we need it versus... Makes, it makes a huge difference. I, I'd say a lot, a lot of people want liver. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, most providers will do this case under ultrasound guidance, mm -hmm. so they'll know where they're putting their forceps. Kind of rate limiting step of the procedure is calvarium. Calvarium, the head is basically the biggest part. Most of the other stuff can come out intact. Right. It's very rare to have that doesn't have enough dilation to evacuate all the other to bring the so, To bring the body cavity out exactly. intact and all that. Um, so then you just kind of pop this in of where you put your grass bears. Um, you try to intentionally go above and below the thorax so that, you know, we've been very good at getting parts on the liver. Because we know that, so I'm not going to crush that part. I'm going to basically crush below, I'm going to crush above, and I'm going to see if I get out of the tap. Mm -hmm. It's very clear indeed that they uh, know what's going on here. We have her own words from her own mouth, and the whole context is there for those who want to hear it. It's very damning stuff indeed. Bill, the mainstream media are usually very, very apprehensive about covering this sort of thing and, and allowing it to come to light. What's the reaction been like, in, particularly in the USA? Well, certainly you're right about them not wanting to cover this overwhelmingly. Uh, the secular left mainstream media is pro-abortion, so they don't like to deal with any of this stuff that makes their pet calls look bad. Uh, we had a similar story, of course, two years ago with the Gosnell case when he was arrested for the horrible things he was doing in his abortion clinic. And reluctantly, but eventually, the mainstream media did have to get on board and run that story as well. So it's the same here. At first, it was only the alternative media running with this, but this is such a big and damning case indeed that some of the uh, mainstream media outlets are now finally starting to run with this as well. Although putting some of their own spin on it, uh, taking the plan parenthood line that this is just a you know attack from the Republican Party and so on so there's a bit of spin going on here but at least it's starting to get out there and even better Planned Parenthood have not been able to ignore it they've been forced to respond yeah well absolutely they've already twice now come out with a public statement first a, a written statement in which they effectively admitted yeah they, they do some of this stuff money does exchange hands and then uh, just more recently, uh, Cecile Richards, the head of uh, Planned Parenthood, did a little two-minute uh, video trying to say, hey, we're a wonderful, compassionate organization. We really care about women. And, you know, maybe the way uh, Nukatella did the uh, interview was a little bit, uh, you know, not the way we would have liked to have been done. Her tone was not as compassionate as we would have liked, but basically she doesn't, uh, you know, condemn her at all for the, the truth of what was discovered. So it's a bit like saying, well, you know, the Nazis, their tone isn't always good at their press conferences, but, you know, nothing wrong with what they actually do. 
So, Bill, what is the truth? I mean, what do Planned Parenthood actually do? Well, well, they claim they're there to help women and others, but of course they are, as mentioned, the world's largest abortion provider. They get hundreds of millions of uh, tax dollars in the U.S. They have clinics all around the world, including in Australia. Uh, well over 300,000 babies are aborted a year in America, thanks to Planned Parenthood, and it should be pointed out, in 99 years ago when they were founded, of course, uh, it was Margaret Sanger, the eugenicist and uh, Nazi sympathizer, who uh, founded Planned Parenthood. It was meant to weed out unwelcome races and keep down uh, unproductive populations and push the good populations, what we call eugenics. So that's the uh, infamous beginning of Planned Parenthood, and it hasn't gotten any better, maybe even worse. So effectively, the foundation of that organization survives, and that really is who they are. Well, absolutely. Uh, She first called this group the American Birth Control League back in 1921, but it evolved into Planned Parenthood. Abortion is its business. That's how they, that's their bread and butter. And again, taxpayers are funding it big time. And uh, with this revelation of the selling, the harvesting of baby body parts, well, it's time that many of us have been saying, stop the funding. Why should we as tax dollars Uh, be paying for this barbaric and cruel uh, activity of Planned Parenthood. And it's not just the USA where they're putting a lot of taxpayer dollars into Planned Parenthood. Yeah, well, absolutely. As I say, it's an international group Uh, here in Australia, for example. Just look up the Sexual Health and Family Planning Australia group. That's their arm here in Australia. So they're all over the world. So just as now we have a full two U.S. congressional investigations into this whole horrid episode and five American state uh, investigations, well, maybe we could do the same in places like Australia. Let's find out what they're doing, what's happening with their activities and their funding, and are they involved in similar sorts of uh, harvesting and selling of baby parts. Bill, who should we be getting on to regarding this? Well, certainly uh, in all Western countries, the, the way to go is contact your local politician, whether a congressman in America or your MP, senator here in Australia, but just ask a few questions. Hey, um, who's getting money? What are they doing with the money? How is uh, their activities? Is it fully uh, transparent, available for anybody to uh, find out? Or is there a lot of hush-hush, secretive stuff that's going on here? Uh, You know, we ask questions of anybody who obviously gets government funding, and rightly so. So it would be time to start asking similar questions here. And of course, there's always information freely available at Culture Watch. Well, certainly I try to do my bit, as do other terrific groups. Uh, I wrote up the the story of Planned Parenthood, so that can be found on my website. But yeah, the, the internet, I mean, nobody is without excuse today. We can't plead ignorance with the internet. We can learn quite a bit. So if the mainstream media is not going to give you the, the real yarn on all this, well, there's places that will. So we need to make use of it. So if you want more information on this, you can either Google Culture Watch or go to the website of the Centre for Medical Progress. They're the people who broke the story. 